Lou, if I was involved in this protest, I would want press to pay attention to me and echo my voice and whatever my list of complaints might be. No, here they're saying, we don't trust you, we don't want you here, and we don't I, we ideally want to control what you have to say. And they don't want a public record of what they are doing, nor do they want to have, they the demonstrators, uh, any questioning of their judgment, even as they question the judgment of the institution itself. I would submit to you that these are some of the most intellectually, I can be, let me say this gently, most intellectually precocious young people uh, on any campus. I, I have to tell you, I, I'm a product of the 60s, I'm proud to say. We had our views as students, and we made them hurt, uh, and we upset people. There is no intellectual integrity, however, in my judgment, to what is happening on these campuses, not in the response of the administration, not in the demands of the student. White privilege? Are you kidding me? White yeah. privilege? That's a demand? Well, That's I, an absurd They theory. wanted the president to speak to this white privilege idea in a way that reminds me of when those students from, I don't think they're students, but the folks involved with Black Lives Matter met with Hillary Radical Clinton. Radical activists, we right. can say that. And, and so what they said to Hillary Clinton was, we want to know if you acknowledge white privilege. And Hillary Clinton said, I could be in Yankee Stadium and do it. What difference does that make at this point? What we want to do is talk about things that amount to change. Yeah. Now, I don't want to get lost. Though. I don't know what, what complaints the students had per se. But well, the idea of violating free speech well, and, at a and liberal Yale, arts institution? Yale, the, contest, the, the contest there uh, between free speech uh, and asserting uh, their, their, you know, I, it, it's getting preposterous. Well, and, it's, a, it's a joke, but the sad part is it's a joke on these young people, and specifically I'm thinking about the young black people who may have legitimate arguments and yeah. complaints. I understand somebody was arrested and all the rest today for threatening to kill people, but that gets lost when you are finding yourself now opposing free speech and the rights of a journalist to do his job. Yeah, and wouldn't have happened without someone there documenting what's going on. Right. Uh, University of Missouri and Yale and Ithaca, universities across this country, have, I mean, they're left-wing institutions to begin with. Right. They're That's losing, no they've lost their way. I think they're so. They're American left-wing institutions, or at least they used to be. Hurts my heart, though. I just, I just can't believe that they think journalists are the enemy. Yeah, well, they think America's the enemy, too. So <laughs> uh, I just say I've got one thought for them on that. Tell me. The hell with them. <laughs> well, you're so well, direct. Well, you're, thanks so much. <laughs> I appreciate it.